In this video, I'll go over some simple, affordable, and high quality ways I've learned to cage and support tomatoes, cucumbers, and bell peppers. There's no one perfect way to do it, but these will work well, and more importantly, the materials used are where the real benefit lies. There's ample amounts of creativity one can put into these. If dealing with many plants, I'd recommend finding a way to simplify the process. Caging each plant is simply ineffective if you're dealing with 50 to 100 plants or more. As shown here, we have tomato cages. These cages are built from cattle panel, a cheap and very durable solution you can pick up from any farm or tractor store. You can get an 18-foot sheet for around $20. Because they are meant for outdoor use in livestock, they are a fairly thick gauge and already galvanized, netting you a solid value, a much better value than any specialty garden cage that doesn't even support a full tomato plant, rusts, and bends very easily. You could also see that the cattle panel has wide enough gaps to reach right in, meaning you can pull large tomatoes through and there's plenty of room for the plant to grow in. These tomatoes I've planted will get near 6 feet tall and pretty heavy. As the plants grow in, simply use some heavy string to section off and secure the main stalks as it grows up, tying between each side of the panel. I've also notched a small piece of PVC to hold the panels apart, an effective and cheap solution, as well as using some old timber from a pool ramp I built for the dogs. Next, we have a cucumber trellis, made from another segment of cattle panel. The spacing of this panel, again, will be great to let cucumbers hang through while letting the vines continue up with a little guiding. This panel is held up by an old, very strong bird feeder post we had. As you can see, we have some tomato seeds from last season's crop growing in. I'll thin them and maybe let one grow up the post. As I said, there's a lot of options here. Where my hand is here, I've simply cut the crossbar on the bottom and drove the tines into the ground on the other end. It acts as a perfect anchor already built in. Looking at some of the bell pepper plants now, we will do around 50 of these alone, so using cages isn't as effective or feasible an option. What I'll do here is put some posts in every 6 to 8 feet, and then again run that handy string between the posts while crisscrossing around the pepper stalks. Be sure not to actually tie around them, as you can constrict the plant. This method works better here, as they will start to bear weight with full fruits, but nothing like the tomatoes, which would be much heavier. Here's an example of tying or weaving between posts, as my plants aren't big enough yet to demonstrate this year. Simply run strings around the posts and plants, weaving them in while letting them grow and not cutting off any of the plant. The weight of the full pepper plants will do much better in this system than tomatoes would. This is the string I've bought every season for the past couple years. It's durable, cheap, and flexible, resulting in a great fix for tying things off or an extra support here and there. If you are curious about the black plastic, it serves multiple purposes. Weed control and additional heat. The weed control is self-explanatory, but sweet potatoes and peppers especially prefer much warmer climates than what can be offered in the more northern United States. The black plastic absorbs a lot of sun, warming the area and soil. Great for all pepper plants and sweet potatoes as they come from the south or tropical climates respectively. I actually use trash bags instead of buying rolls of plastic as they are more flexible to use, involve less cutting, and happen to fit perfectly between my rows. Because I'm not using them as trash bags, I was able to get whatever ones were the cheapest and on sale. Just an added bonus. Hopefully this gave you some helpful ideas to improve your system. Good luck growing and hopefully your helpers are more willing to help than mine were today.